Hi, I'm Ramin, a lecturer at Department of Economics at University College in London and also a member of CTAIL, Center for Teaching and Learning Economics. Before I start, apologies for the right reflection on my glasses. I don't know how to get rid of them. If you do know, let me know in the comments. My project, Spotlight on Students. Most academic podcasts focus on doing an interview with a star academic. But in this project, I turn the spotlight on students. Now, when an academic starts to ask questions, starts to interview with the student uh, about their learning process or learning journey. Let me give you a specific example. I teach a module on economic history at the undergraduate level. And as part of that module, I give an essay assignment to students. Last year, I chose uh, three students who did reasonably well in that assignment and I started to interview them. Why did you choose question X? How did you find relevant reading material? Uh, how did you go beyond the reading list in the syllabus? How did you plan your essay? How did you reference? So that was an example of an interview linked with a module that, was, that I was teaching. Let me give you an example that is not related to a module. Uh, every year in UCL Economics, we hold a conference for students, Explore Econ, where students come over and present their independent research. Two years ago, I did an interview with the student who won the prize for the best paper submission and presentation. And in that interview, I asked him about, you know, what was your motivation to take part in this conference? Um, how did you approach academics? How did you get help and support during your research journey? Uh, let me know about, you know, the writing process of a paper, the referencing, the editing, the proofreading. And finally, let me know how did you prepare for your presentation on the conference day? So this was an example that is not linked to a module per se. Now, what's the motivation behind this project? Why do I do these interviews? What's the pedagogy behind it? First of all, the reason behind these interviews is not to spread the best practice. So I'm not interviewing a student in order to say, look, these are the best practices for doing research or essay writing. That's not the purpose. I can think of uh, four main motivations or pedagogical values behind Spotlight on Students. The first pedagogical value is that these interviews encourage metacognition among students. The idea is that once a student listens to this interview, that person will start to reflect on their own method. Ah, uh, this is actually, you know, the way that I approach essay writing. Bear in mind that all of us have our own implicit method or tacit method of doing research, but we're not self-aware of them. But once we listen to another person talking about their methods, we start to reflect on our own methods. So this, this is the process I call metacognition. Students becoming self-aware of their own methods of learning, and then they start to perhaps revise or no metacognition. The second pedagogical value of this project is for the academics. By doing these interviews, academics can get precious feedback about their modules, about their projects. For instance, they can learn about the ways that students learn economics or academics can get to know the resources that students use. For instance, they use uh, that website for referencing in their essays. And then the academic can incorporate these methods and insight into their teaching for the next year. The third pedagogical value of this project is that these interviews can become a source of inspiration or motivation for other students, especially students at more junior levels. Let's assume I'm a high school kid now listening to an undergraduate student in economics. That person is talking about their research on the impact of automation on income inequality. And that could be very motivating for me. 
that can give an insight about, ah, this is what economics is really about. I'm also capable, I'm also interested in doing such thing. And fourth and the final uh, pedagogical value of this project is that these interviews can become a tool for decolonizing the classroom or changing the power structure between the academic and students. As academics, we are usually used to have the spotlight on us. People wanting to do interview with us. Students want to listen our opinion about this or that. But as his name suggests, this project puts the spotlight on students. Now the academic listens and the students talk. Now let me end by playing you a short snippet of the interview that I did with my economic history student about essay writing. And I hope you find this useful. I'm sure many of you already use very similar methods and do interviews with your students. So, you know, let's exchange ideas. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our podcast. Most economic podcasts focus on doing interviews with academics. But in this podcast, I turn the spotlight on the students and ask them about the methods and approaches they use to learn economics and do economic research on their own. Now, the aim of this podcast is to encourage other students to reflect on the methods and approaches they use to learn economics and more practically prepare themselves for their assessment. Now, in this podcast, I'm focusing specifically on one of my undergraduate modules, economic history. And I would like to focus on the ways and approaches that the students use to learn about this module and prepare themselves for the assessment. And for that, I am doing interviews with three of the students who did this uh, module last year, that is 2019-2020. And the three students are Paul, Hester, and Cindy. So I'm going to start my questions about the first assignment. So this course overall had two assignments. One was the uh, essay question and the other one was the final coursework. Let me start with the essay questions. I gave the students two questions to choose from and they had to write a 2000 word essay on that topic. And now I would like to ask Paul about that assignment. So hi, Paul, how are you? Hi, I'm great, thank you. Thank you for joining us. So first question, how did you research for your essay topic? So I think first of all, you, the most important thing is to know what you're looking for. And so the first step that I know I personally took and I think is important is to actually understand the question and understand the way you're going to tackle it. So even before getting into researching about papers or methods or arguments that you wanna in introducing your essay, you need to understand what you're looking for. So understanding the question is the most important thing. And once you have done that, the thing that I did was use the, the readings that you provided to us at the beginning as a gateway. So realizing what is included in these readings and what is not that could help answer the question or not. And from that point, realizing what I maybe needed to look forward and what I needed to look into that was not included. Very good. Uh, how about you, Cindy? Um, well, I also, uh, first of all, I tried to make myself understand the questions and I just went through the lecture notes and also the weekly readings to refresh my memory around these two topics. And, and then I also use um, Google Scholar and UCL EconLit to um, research and read around these two topics and then I pick one topic that I, I think I'm more comf comfortable to deal with that. And then I just um, list some possible arguments and supporting evidence um, on this topic. 